Hey, how's it going YouTube? This is Uncle Shorty with Uncle Shorty's Bassin. Uh, today we're going to be doing a topwater spook. Uh, spooks are one of my, is actually my favorite topwater bait to throw. It's one of my favorite baits to throw in the summertime uh, for smallmouth mainly. Uh, nothing beats a smallmouth blow up. Anybody who's ever caught one on a topwater, I know you guys all agree. Uh, so the pattern we're going to do, do today, well, it's not really a pattern. It's more of a, it's more of a colors that I, that I choose, or colors that I prefer. Um, it's not a bluegill pattern. It's not a crappie pattern, or or anything else like that. It's just certain colors that I have found work best for me. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with we're going to start with white, uh, just some opaque white, just to get us a starting a starting base here, all the way front to back. Make sure you get a nice even coat, and if it doesn't get a coat on the first one. Always add another coat. So usually this opaque does pretty good in covering on the first first layer. Make sure you hit it from all angles. These spooks usually are pretty pretty smooth you don't got much to worry about but I like to make sure I get everything covered give me a nice good starting point alright All right, so I'm gonna get that heat set let my compressor warm up a bit and then we'll get back to you alright so uh, next we're gonna add some uh, pearl white I like to add this to the bellies uh, I'll just go right over the white. Uh, you can add it all over the whole bait if you want. Uh, especially if I know that there's going to be a lot of the white that's going to shine through at the end. Because um, this pearl white really does give it a, a good sheen, a good, a good sparkle. Uh, and it covers the bait pretty good too. So you, I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it, it really gives it a nice... A nice uh, nice shine at the end there so we're gonna cover that uh, next we're gonna grab some detail yellow and what's this this is scorching yellow mix those together and we're gonna throw this on the top on the top and a little bit of the sides I like to mix some colors sometimes if I uh, if there's a certain color that I'm wanting I'll and nothing's wrong with that you know I'll take a couple different colors mix them until I get the right the right tone that I'm wanting I'm wanting this to be pretty bright so we're gonna cover this it's almost like a shot true right on the top little bit little bit on the sides just kind of fade that down a little bit same thing on this side just kind of fade that yellow down hit it in the front make sure you get that nose boom nice and easy right over the top again There we go, we got our, maybe hit those shoulders a little bit more. All right. All right, now I'm gonna heat set this, and then uh, we're gonna add some, some purple to it. So, get back to you. Okay, all right, so now that we got that all dried up, uh, heat set, we're gonna grab some of this lace here. Um, might have seen me use in the last video uh, 
um, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap this around the bait and we're going to be spraying the color right over this um, so you can use you can buy these little clips you can buy them anywhere online little alligator clips uh, I think I got these on Amazon pack of 50 for a couple bucks but these things work awesome holding these uh, it does take two hands and a little while but the main thing is to keep this keep this tight as you're putting it down uh, or as you're you know clipping them and clamping it down you want to make sure you keep this lace nice and tight throughout the entire bait uh, that's how you're going to get your nice clean lines throughout the entire entire lure so I'm going to shut up the camera I'm going to get these clips on and then we're going to continue spraying alright so now that we got that lace put on uh, nice and tight throughout the entire bait you do want to be careful when you're putting that on um, I've learned from the past that you can easily scratch your bait as you're when you're putting these clips on or sliding sliding the lace around so just you know be cautious of scratching your bait when you're putting these on um, so next we're gonna come in with this velvet violet and we're gonna go right over the top of this this yellow uh, we want to hit the bait straight on we're gonna go right on the top here it's nice and easy uh. Yeah, so we're gonna go nice and easy right over the top of this, right over the top of this yellow. Maybe. Just kind of a quick cover kind of just dusting the bait it looks like there's a lot on there right now um, anytime you're using lace or tool or, or anything to cover your bait it always ends up looking darker than what it actually is when you take it off uh, and I just want a little bit of this purple uh, over the top of it uh, so let me clean this out real quick and then we're gonna add a little bit of blue a little bit of blue to the front kind of by the face like in the cheekbone here All right, so just right here a little bit of blue Like I said, it always looks darker when the when the lace is on. We're gonna come back later on and hit that blue again um, once we have the tool off. So I'm gonna heat set this, and then we'll take the lace off. Uh, I'll show you that process. So let me uh, heat set all this, and then we'll we'll go from there. All right. So now we got that heat set. Let me show you guys this process of taking the tool or the lace off one thing you want to be careful again uh, you want to make sure not to scratch the bait so we're going to take these little clips off and then what I like to do um, is start at the front of the bait like this and we're going to take it all we're going to take it off in one motion like ripping off a band-aid um, so you don't peel off any paint because um, you can easily peel off the paint so we go we got a little bit of that yellow coming through a little bit of that blue all right so now we're gonna 
move on to the next color okay so now we're going to come in with some of this uh oh, what's, the, what's this color called again uh canyon orange uh reduce it down with a, just a couple drops we're going to add a little bit of orange just right here in the underneath the the, the face here i guess the throat area would be We can uh, brighten this. Uh, sorry about the compressor. Keep going off. All right. So now we're gonna come in with this uh, wicked fastback green. It's more of a blue color. But we're gonna come back in over this blue that we did earlier and just kind of darken this up. Um, I really like this this fastback green color and, and always remember that if you, if you ever make a mistake it's okay um, no baits no fish out there are perfect or you know they're perfect lines or all symmetric or anything like that so if you make a mistake you know, I've made a couple mistakes on this bait that I'm not real happy with. Um, but it's alright. You can always try to fix them or go with them. I've made mistakes in the past on baits and have caught fish on them. So if I make little things here and there, I'm not too worried about it. So you shouldn't be either. You know, you can try to correct it. Like right now, I'm going to try to correct this blue. I wasn't too happy with it. Um, and then you just kind of go from there you can add some colors take some colors you can't really take the colors away but you can add some colors and try to blend them a little better um, so now that we got that on we're gonna add some blood red to the bottom I always like having blood on my bait I always like having the color blood red and this really is just like blood when this thing dries it looks just like blood so we're gonna we're gonna flip this bait over we're gonna add it right here in the middle right where this hook is try to go up here you guys can see this stuff does spray kind of tricky so sometimes you got to do it in multiple coats so just thin thin light sprays Come back, do it again. Because um, hmm. I always think, you know, the fish is down below looking up. They see red. They see they see a wounded fish. So I always try to throw reds on my base. Just like in the last video, you see that I put blood on that one as well. set this stuff and uh, get back to you see what we can do about fixing this bait up I'm not real happy with this so let's see what we can do about fixing this up all right so I got that heat set what I think I'm gonna do here is is add a few lines down this bait uh, I'm gonna do that with this uh, with sepia so we're going to we're gonna I'm gonna use this comb here this, uh, this comb works in a lot of different ways uh, I got multiple stencils and different things, but this comb works works awesome. Um, I got different hair clips that I've stole from the wife's, you know, drawers and stuff like that. But this comb, this comb works good. So we're gonna do some lines here. See if we can clean this bait up a bit. I 
Just a little bit. So once I get those lines, I kind of try to blend them in a little bit. Fade, fade them forward, fade them back, flip this bait around, do it from this side. Same thing. We're going to start right here. Make sure you're nice and steady. So they connect. That'll kind of help dial that that purple down a bit. That purple is driving me crazy. It's actually the first time I used that purple for this pattern, and uh, once I put it on, I wasn't real happy with it. So I had to figure out a way of using it but covering it, and. And that happened, so I'm a little happy with the way this is looking. Uh, so, looking a little bit more, maybe like a little bluegill pattern now. So we went from one idea, switched it to another. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Let's see if we can tone that blue down a bit. That's the thing is when you try new paints, um, not exactly sure how they're gonna spray. And those those paints that I used didn't spray the way I was used to or wanting them to, so I won't be using those again. Uh, all right, so looking a little bit better. Let me get this heat set and see uh, see what we can do about darkening this top up. Maybe throw a little moss green in there. Then we'll add a fin. Alright, so we kind of got this bait fixed a little bit here. Um, while we were away, all I did was add a little bit of black around this eye here. Uh, so now we're just going to finish this bait off with some wicked gold. I'm just going to coat the whole bait in wicked gold. Uh, just to give it a little, a little shine. Um... I always like to do this to my base. It just gives it a little, a little pearl to it, a little something for the shine effect. So, get this bait all over on the bottom. And then we'll get this bait dipped in some KBS. Let it dry till tomorrow. Alright, so there's the final final outcome. Um, started off as one thing and ended another thing. So I'm happy with it though. I think it'll work. Catch and bait, you know, top water uh, in now a bluegill pattern. But there's a top water spook. I'm Uncle Shorty, Uncle Shorty's Bassin. And we'll see you guys in the next one.